Hey, you guys. Um, it's been three weeks. Today actually makes three weeks. I Wednesday that I had my tummy tuck. I just weighed myself on the scale and it said 191.8. When I went into surgery three weeks ago, I was at 205. So, of course, you get skin cut off. You know, duh, yeah, the scale's going to be um lighter, but I'm still bloated. I'm not bloated. I'm going to say I'm still swollen. Um, I go back tomorrow so they can look at my incisions and see if it's time to take this binder off and get fitted for a fodger, if I'm saying it right. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was botched from a, from a cesarean section a long time ago. So I finally got that flap cut off, and I am extremely happy. I went summer shopping yesterday, got a few little lounging outfits. Really, really happy about that. But, um, yeah, this is what they put on me when I came home from the hospital. Or oh, I just broke my nail this morning, excuse that. Um, click the description box, and I will have my um, Instagram page, which is Stay With Nail Studio. <clears throat> you can follow me on there. That's why I be at all day, every day advertising my business which is a nail school just so you know so click the link in my bio okay so yeah um i don't i can't show too much but yeah i'm cut from there <clears throat> to there and actually this, again this is digging into my station so i'm hoping they tear back and start wearing this I know I need it for bloating and um, well for the swelling, so I'm not the type that complain. I had to get out of a lot of groups because of the complaining, so I just want to talk about that for a second. You guys you know these Facebook groups. I get it. It's a place to vent, but they would discourage you from getting a tummy tuck because, oh, my God, it hurts. Oh, my God, I can't walk. Oh, my God, it's been two weeks. I can't stand up straight. Y'all, everybody is different, okay? Everybody's healing process is different. I was up four days walking up straight. You know, taking my vitamins, moving around like I was told to. I was, I'm, I'm healing really great. Again, everybody, pain level is different. <clears throat> so you just have to ignore that and do it because you want to get rid of your flap. That's what you're doing it for. That flap doesn't go anywhere. Your stomach can get small. I don't know what, taking TLC products, working out, eating right, all of this stuff works. But the flap doesn't go so i had mine shoo, surgically removed okay so yeah i'm extremely excited about this summer and just being able to wear cute clothes and actually my back feels better i have back issues so i had these cut off two years ago well redu reduced two years ago so now the flap is gone and it's time for me to live my best life okay so i just want to come on here and update you guys on that so, once again, real quick, I'm going to cut from here. I still have my tape on. I still have the tape on. So, I'm cut from all the way there, straight across to way back there. So, of course, they did lipo. Lipo comes with the um, apneoplasty, which is a tummy tuck. So, they did the lipo here, and they always do the flanks be the hourglass figure. I've always had a figure hidden and out of that flap. Okay, I've always had a figure. No, I did not get a BBL. This is natural. I always had a butt. So yeah, the booty is natural. Okay, so yeah, I just want to do a quick update for you guys and I will update you guys. Um, probably do, a, yeah, t a, tomorrow another video showing you if I did get fitted for my Faja or whatever you call it. Alright, so stay ready. I get ready. Click the link in my bio to my um Instagram page.